Hey, it's Adam with Tech Dive AV Club. We're in Vegas Pro 17, and we're going to talk about how to do that trendy thing with text. So I got this little text thing here I've already created. It's called Trendy Travel Videos. And uh, it's really just text to go on top of drone footage. So to really do this effect right, you need drone footage, right? No, I'm just kidding. You don't need drone footage. You can do it with anything, but that's typically the way you see it is kind of you get drone footage of a city and then it kind of has the text, but the text is see-through and cut out. So we're going to show you that. So there's actually like four different ways to do this, including you could green screen the text. You could actually do a multiply mask. I've seen people do it that way, but really, it's, you, why make it hard? There's a super simple way to do this. Uh, go to your background color. Take this transparency up. Right, so if, you, if you've never added text before, I have a whole different tutorial for you. So about, all about adding text. So I'll link that above. But so for this, I've already, I've already just dragged and dropped media I've generated. From the media generators tab, you can do the same thing with sample text. You drag it right there. This video media generators thing will pop up. You can type in whatever text, choose whatever font you want and bold, italicize it, center it, all the normal text editing things, and then you can change the color and stuff like that, and that's what we're doing here. So now, if you if you get rid of that window, all you have to do is click on this little generated media button on the clip, and that will pop up your, your text editing screen, and you can customize it, make it even bigger and easier to see. So now we got the black background. The cool thing about this method is you don't have to do particular colors. You can do any color you want, this is what I call the Windows Movie Maker color, uh, but there's all sorts of you know all sorts of options here for you. Uh, there we go. Maybe that, that kind of a burnt orange. Uh, anything like that. Anything you want to do, grab your color. Now for your text color, this is very simple. Op click on this box here, open up the text color, and then take this slider and slide it down. Now it's transparent. Boom. The text I've installed here is the way I've got that little gradient through it, where the little the little speck speckledness. That is uh, just just the capture it text I've installed. Let's talk about making it a little fancier. So sometimes you want to fill up the screen, or maybe do the Stranger Things thing where you zoom into the letters. Uh, to do that, what you got to do is do a little fade here, and then so now I just grab the top right hand corner, and I create a fade by pulling it to the left. Now it fades out. Remember, you can always change your fade type like so, right clicking and selecting the fade type you want. Let's select, let's do something a little more, a little more, yeah, trendy looking. So, the next thing, that burnt orange is just bothering me. More of a mustard. So, uh, boom, we've got that. It fades to the actual footage behind it. And the next thing we need to do is we want the letters to get bigger. To do that, there's a couple of different ways you can do this as well, including you could animate it with the event pan crop, which I have videos about animating with the event pan crop. If that's the way you want to do it, you can check out that tutorial. We're not going to do it that way because, again, we're reinventing the wheel or making it too hard. When you use the event pan crop, it keeps the resolution of the font. So whatever font resolution you have, the event pan crop keeps that resolution and zooms in through that resolution. It's a digital crop. We don't want to do that. We want to recreate this this text uh, as it gets bigger. So to do that, what I would like to do is go to size or scale right here. And we're going to click this little clock. The little clock lets you animate things. First thing, I don't want it to do it immediately. So I'm just going to click later in the clip here. With this little button selected, this little sync cursor, Wherever you select on this pop-up timeline right here underneath your editor is where you're going to select down here in your actual timeline. That's why the preview is moving when I, when I move. Uh, so so I want to be keep it readable, but I also want to get bigger. So I want to give them some time to read it. I'm going to hit add a new keyframe. That's going to leave the spot the same. All the changes will only happen after this. And I can slide this around to get it exactly where I want it. And then I'm going to come here at the end the very end where it's faded out and I want my text scale to be massive and so let's get rid of that fade for now and let's watch let's watch the clip back see what happens alright so that's a bit difficult 
computation there. One thing I wish I had noted, you can actually change the speed in which this gets bigger by hitting curves right here. And then you can right click this and just hit like smooth fade or something and you can kind of select a curve. You can also uh, sharp fade, linear fade, you know, just select that however you want it. And you can hit um, manual as well if you would like to tweak this curve any way you want. All right, so that computation takes up a little bit of, of time. So if, if you're having trouble seeing it, you can always go to up here, best, full, and you can go to draft and auto. That'll let you have a little quick proxy that you can view your, your video a little smoother with. Now, it looks like garbage, though, but it lets you see the effect in more real time. If you don't want it to look like garbage, we can add that little fade that we talked about. If you don't want it to look like garbage, what you can do is you can, well, and that's just that's just for preview, right? It's not going to render out like that it, when because when you before you render, you'll go back to best full, um, which will look pretty. But you can always right click and selectively pre-render your video and select any kind of render settings. This creates a little temp file. That way, you'll have the exact video that you're going to see, and you can preview that before you render out your entire project. Uh, and and you don't have to create a video file or anything. It just does it right here in the timeline. Now that it's pre-rendered, let's give it a watch back. You can see here, you see the trees through it. And the fade. And that fade doesn't have to kind of stall out in the center. That's just from the fade type I've selected. I think I'm going to change that fade type. Now that'll change the pre-render, but uh, I think that'll be a better fade type there. So maybe make it a little bit longer too. So these are just all different ways you can give yourself that extra trendy text edge. So one thing I do want to note, though, is is you can also do other things besides just show off your travel video behind this. Uh, I've used this effect before, and I have a tutorial about it using uh, the multiply mask feature to do it, but you can there's several different ways to do it. Uh, but to show fire behind the text as well. So if you're interested in just making your characters dance and light up and stuff, then I would highly recommend checking out that tutorial as well. Thank you so much for watching. This has been another quick tutorial from uh, from Tech Dive AV Club. Uh, here's the deal about the 50 videos coming out. Um, I'm going to try and finish the 50 videos this March. I overshot. Uh, my schedule did not work out like I thought. I thought I was going to have five days a week nine to five to work on this thing that did not end up being the case remotely at all and so uh i'm sorry about that but i'm still gonna get those 50 videos out because i still want those 50 videos out asap so working to get them out before i take on any other major projects and um also anything you buy through our affiliate links helps us out thank you so much to my patrons uh, who have access to this drone footage as well they have access to use this in anything they want uh, so thank you guys for being patrons and for helping me out and really just thank everybody for watching and liking these things really really enjoy making them I'll see you next time